A look at how foreign-born citizens can change voter dynamics. Hello, this is Chart GPT Today. You know, many times people have wondered whether or not immigration does affect politics. Some people think that that's uh, uh, kind of a replacement theory there. But nevertheless, let's take a look at the data and see what it says here. Here's a inst kind of an interesting kind of a detailed chart here. We'll go through this a little bit. And these are why immigrants come to the United States. By far, 41% come for work, 32% from come from uh, school, and 23% from family. And you can see there the where they go to. So that's kind of an interesting thing. Most people are coming here for opportunity to work. Very few actually come for uh, security issues, even though that they get refugee status. Most do not come for that reason. Some of the top countries over the past few years have, and you kind of see in the top left-hand chart there, it's Mexico, India, China, Philippines, El Salvador, and most are, are Central American countries, but by far these have been where they've gone. And you can see from the next chart there that how the, how the regions have changed over the, over the decades here. You, can, you can't really see it, but uh, if you blow up the chart real, uh, really large, you can see that over time. The purple is the European, and that's how they have declined quite significantly in the 670s and 80s. And, of course, the Americas is, uh, from the south of the border has grown. And, of course, what's, what's interesting is that the African component of that has also been growing. Of course, one of the things about Africa, believe it or not, that a lot of those are Islamic, and so that's always a concern concerning the geopolitics of today. And you can see that the, uh, on, the th on the bottom left hand chart, or right hand chart of that is you can see that the, the foreign born population has changed dramatically uh, since the start of the immigration laws back in 1963. You see that the U.S. immigration eligibility voter population has been tracking steadily higher. It was 12 percent in 2000, and now it's more almost doubled. So does that impact the uh, elections? Well. We'll see about that here in a moment here. And you can see here that over the Obama first term was 59,000 a month in second term 76. Trump basically held it somewhat evenly or uh, slowed it down. And of course, under Biden, it has doubled since the Obama administration. A lot of people have been reporting on that. So taking a look at how they actually vote, you can see the immigrant naturalized citizen. By far, they're more Democrat uh, than U.S. born citizen. And of course, Republicans the opposite way. Independence uh, again, it tends to be more focused on immigrant, and then the other is probably not consequential. But you can see here that definitely uh, the immigrants do vote in favor of Democrats. Maybe not as much as people think, but enough to you know, in five or ten percent elections, it does make the difference. So if you're a Democrat, you obviously want more immigration because it's going to help you politically. You can see since the year 2000, Democrats by far are pro-immigration and so there's no, there's obviously a reason for that because it's been helping them politically. Yes, check out the uh, AI and it gives you some things to think about when whether or not immigration can influence the voting dynamics. And the data seems to suggest it does. Some people are suggesting it may not in the, in the long term, but at least in the short term it has. So take our online poll. Can foreign-born citizens change political, the political dynamics in elections? Don't forget to subscribe.